it's Emma Romano here. It's like 7 a.m. in the morning. I'm in Luxor in Egypt and that's the Nile. I don't know, you can't really see it. There you go. Got it? Got it. Um, we're about to leave here today for the Red Sea. Ah! Anyway, I want to talk to you about manifesting. So while I've been here, I've been getting massive, massive downloads and lots of wealth coding. I mean, we're in the land of rich, right? with the pharaohs and everything, the queens. But I'm gonna tell you one of the biggest downfalls around manifesting. When you ask for a better life, when you ask for more wealth, more health, the perfect person, the perfect friends, you know, a better day, you have to push out negative energy, negative thought forms, negative people, negative low vibrational things around you for the good to come in because you are a vessel and we need to push out the old to bring in the new. So when we manifest and you ask for something good, you can actually get a lot of that anxiety. A lot of fear can come up because all of a sudden shit starts changing and it would change rapidly, rapidly, especially if you ask for money because money, wealth likes fast. Did you hear that? Wealth, money likes fast. Yay! Hey, babe! I think about you so much here. Um, oh, hello. That's cool. Um, <laughs> so when you, are, when you, for instance, say, right, I need a lot of money, you will have to shift and push out a lot of thought forms, behaviors, and habits, and people who are draining you. We're blocking it. And that can hurt. So one of the biggest things... Um, that we have, humans have a negative trauma around is really one thing, it's abandonment. That's it. So there you go, Gay, look at that. Look at that pool overlooking the Nile. Oh, I'm in love with this place. I'm, I've already booked another trip here. Again, when you're manifesting, if you manifest wealth, it'll come very fast like that day but you also will be doing massive shifts and then when you're asking for something better a lot of anxiety and fears can come up because you are actually going into the unknown and our three-dimensional body doesn't like the um the unknown all right because the unknown is abandonment i don't know what it is so my normal habits and behaviors which could be shit but are abandoning me. It's like smoking cigarettes. It's like, I'm three years sober, right? And I used to smoke the sne sneaky cigarettes. I wasn't an all-time smoker, but I could binge a packet in one night if I was really on the piss, right? And my biggest fear was abandoning or being abandoned by wine because it was my constant. It wasn't good for me, but it was my constant. Who am I without it? Now I look back and I go, fuck me, why didn't I do it years before? Because I was so focused on what I was going to miss out on instead of what I was gaining. It's like people, I get clients who come to me and they've got joint problem and they've got skin problems. And I go, get off fucking dairy. And they go, oh, I can't get off my dairy. Well, what's the bigger problem, coming off dairy or having clear skin and being able to fucking walk? I don't get it. I don't understand how drinking milk or eating cheese is more worthy than walking. I don't get it. But then I had to go, oh, hang on, it's an abandonment issue because everyone goes, the cheese is abandoning me. Get it? The cigarettes is abandoning me. It's a crutch. It's something to fall upon. It's an excuse. It's also an excuse to feel like shit. We love feeling like shit. We love sitting in a pity party. And when you're manifesting, there's no room for pity party. There's no room for that. It's pushed out. And then what happens is people get very anxious and a lot of anxiety over it. And then they call it something different. And then they flip over that manifestation and they don't allow it to come in because they'll sit in their trauma state. It's interesting, right? It's very interesting. So anyway, I just thought I would leave that with you. So when you are manifesting and people start leaving you or 
you just don't like certain foods anymore or anything like that. It's normal. It's normal. It's not shit. It's fucking good. And it's okay to feel hurt by it. Right? It's okay to go, oh, that feels uncomfortable and hurt. And there's a little bit of shame there. It's okay. It's normal. But don't dwell in it. That's not what manifestation's about. Feel the feels. Let it flow through you. Don't block it because it'll fucking sit there. Right? It'll fucking sit in your body and it'll come out in a different way. Come out in a different way. You've got to think every, every ailment in your body is just an indicator from your soul of what needs work on. There's a wound. So your soul can't come out and go, hey, dude, Emma, this is going on, sort it out. It'll show it in, in our body. So if you've got tight hips, you're holding emotion in your hips. If you do a lot of hip work, you'll probably cry. Like if you start stretching your hips out, massaging your hips, especially women, you'll probably start crying or you might feel angry or agitated. Don't stop. Keep doing it so you can go through the emotion. Feel the feels. Feel the feels. The feels are good. Feel the feels. Anyway, I hope that helps you. I love you guys so much. I'm in fucking Egypt. Ah! Anyway, love you. Bye.